So let's start everyone. Uh, hi, my name is Aditya and I'm part of Mosa family. So today we are with God, Mr. Uh, Gautam Dev Monty. Hello, Gautam. Hi, hello. Hello, hello. Sorry, guys. I, uh, I tried to log in through my laptop. Those yeah. are some issues. I don't no, know. Yeah. So, so guys, uh, so everyone, Gautam here, Gautam, uh, Gautam Dev Monty has a diploma specialization in weight loss diet supplement advisory along with as certification fitness nutrition coaching and has a comprehensive skill set in field of fitness and nutrition uh this welcome mr gautam thank you uh, yeah so so the session will be few question from my side and then we'll take the question from our viewers uh, so everyone post please post your questions on the chat uh before starting our question, uh, so can you, Gautam, please, uh, can you tell us about overview of the topic, uh, weight loss and fat loss? See, this topic is, you know, uh, I can say ki very much uh, personally related to me because I believe many of uh, people knows ki, you know, I started into fitness around 2011 or 12 and before I was in IT okay. and uh, uh, the complete scenario was totally different where I am now. That time I was just, you know, same, all kind of bad habits or said whatever people used to do, I was doing and I was almost around uh, 35 or 36 percent of fat with my height and all. So then I, one fine day I just got up and I felt like what the hell. So I didn't like it. Then I, you know, started uh, trying by myself. Then I lost weight but somehow I was not happy you know something was not exactly falling in the place then uh, after few here and there trial and error I finally found ke, okay the way or the thing I am doing that is totally different because I was completely checking myself on the wing scale you know I used to lose weight I used to be happy from 95 kg I came down to 68 in 3 months okay. which was like a huge leap so why I said it is personally because, you know, I have struggled a lot. So I want, uh, you know, people should also and ever about this uh, weight loss or fat loss, which one should be or how it is related or whether, whether there is a difference or not or if it is, what is that. Now coming down to, see, weight loss is nowadays, you know, I get the most hot selling products in fitness. Correct. And in the name of it, you know, if you are more than your weight also, people want you to lose mm -hmm. weight. If you are 30, 40 kg more also, they want to lose weight. Correct. Okay. Now, in that, you know, using that term, there are so many uh, business, there are so many institutes running. You know, nowadays, it's like, you eat this, you lose weight. You apply, you lose weight. You know, you do this, you lose weight. You will do that, you lose weight. And most of them are scams. So I believe it is very much important, very, very much important for people to understand that how significantly weight loss is different from fat loss. Okay, nice. Uh, so we'll start our question session. And my first question will be, so we'll start with general question. The basic question that we have is a fundamental difference between fat loss and weight loss. So can you uh, uh, elaborate that to our viewers that were difference between the fat loss and weight loss? Okay. So let's take an example. Now let's take an example. You have started going to gym and uh, your weight may be around uh, 70 or 75. If I may ask, what's your weight now? My weight is 65. Correct. So 65. Yeah. And you started following a you know, module, maybe doing workout or uh, jogging, walking, spinning, running anything and you forward diet then after a month you went checked your weight on the scale again okay now you found that your weight has become 64 mm -hmm. so you are like wow great mm -hmm. i've done so four, four kg weight loss but the question is what did you lose actually so that is what is the main difference between your weight loss and a fat loss now in weight loss our body has you know three main things which can be manipulated your muscle your water your fat now if you are losing water or 
your muscle then it, that is not the way of using your body that is not the exact rather than you should have if you would have lost 4 kg of fat then it is actually good but most of the scenario what happens is you know i believe people go and lose weight but they don't know what actually they are correct yeah so in weight loss it is a overall weight loss mm-hmm. but fat loss it is just the fat loss fat loss okay and that's great and i uh, sorry to interrupt mm-hmm. the approach of bit towards fat loss not weight mm-hmm. loss okay so people usually uh, do a crash course crash diet so crash diet is a pap- very popular term right now so either ca- people say crash diet or detox diet uh, they say it uh so uh, my next question will be regarding that so can you please give us some insight about the price diet and how it contributes to a fra- to fi- maybe a weight loss but not specific fat loss okay see crash diet you know what happens in crash diet is either you go and see everybody knows for weight loss or fat loss you have to go for calorie deficit diet so if you are doing calorie deficit diet you start losing weight mm-hmm. okay let's assume that you have started losing fat okay now so let's uh, say your uh, recommended calorie intake is 2000 and uh, for calorie deficit maybe you go in between you know uh, 1500 to 2000 not below that so in crash diet what happens the name of detox or uh, to ramp up the process people usually go for you know whole day eating on fruits whole day on diet or maybe whole day keep on uh, having oats so completely it is you know it is not even a calorie deficit diet it is like somehow i want to get rid of the weight now in that scenario see your body goes into a panic mode okay mm-hmm. for first few weeks you will be losing weight after that what happens is when your body goes into panic mode for your body he or she he the body loves always fat because it is now the next source from where it going to survive okay so ra- in that scenario rather than it is supposed to lose fat it started losing muscle and water so you will be thinking okay you know i am eating all this i am trying all this so i am losing weight on the scale but in rather than fat you will be losing muscle and water and mm-hmm. uh, the uh, one more downside of it you know because of this so eventually you land into scenarios where you become uh, very much uh, you know because of complete one macros out just like you know you take out the carbohydrates totally so you feel tired all through the day you feel irritated all through the day you become stressed out all through the day then your uh, micronutrients like your vitamin minerals will go for a toss in that scenario so these are the few things which crash diet actually screw up you that's why i i always prefer you know it should be a holistic way of going when you are going for a fat loss correct correct yeah so, so that's the that's very good answer uh, also everyone uh, there is a special gift for you who has joined the i live so stay tuned for that okay uh, uh gautam uh, in my next question will be uh, regarding the lifestyle to for, uh, for lifestyle for fat loss and weight loss so what is a sustainable uh, thing to do for oneself throughout this day to maintain or to reduce the weight or to reduce his body fat so can you elaborate on that uh, for a uh, sustainable fat loss you know there are a few things which is very mandatory which i can say ki uh, one is your physical activity uh, on daily basis it can be probably i'm not sure you have to come down to gym if you are going to gym it is well and good or else you can do jogging walking spinning whatever you feel it is comfortable for you mm-hmm. now the second scenario will be having a balanced nutrition diet you know rather than going for all crash diet now which you obviously can so you know it helps you to lose fat along with that you can gain some muscle also because muscle is always the key to longevity now mm-hmm. the third point is you know qualitative sleep it is not quantitative i am not 
worried about sleeping eight or ten hours. It is if you are sleeping four or five hours also, mm -hmm. it should be a quality, not be a disturbed. And the amount of, of hydration, like you know, people do everything, but they don't drink water because common excuse is I don't find time, or if I drink water, I have to go to loo for many times. I don't have time for that. So all those things. But at the end, I would say one thing which is very much important in all this is change of your habits. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do this, if you maintain this as a habit, then actually you don't have to do anything. You you know, it will automatically trigger. This is my lifestyle. I do this, and I'll be fit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so uh, on the process of lifestyle. So the other thing is that people do is they take they uh, get onto supplements. So supplement is another thing that uh, people choose uh, to enhance or to boost their uh, process of fat losing or weight losing. So I just want to know uh, how would you recommend someone these kind of supplements? See, in case of uh, in case of fat loss, there are uh, three supplements sweets I usually recommend and I usually say it is pretty good to take like one would be always is uh, whey protein because you know in uh, calorie deficit or the nutritional plan if you are going for uh, weight loss or fat loss mm -hmm. it is mostly the fat loss you should have a protein rich diet plan so uh, and I can say ki, uh, most of the people are uh, protein deficient mm -hmm. because in India, our staple food is always carb, like roti, chapati, rice, poha, etc. We don't eat protein on a daily basis, so that's why we are mostly protein deficit. So I would say ki whey protein is one of the supplement I always recommend. Now the second thing is when because of your calorie deficit, there is a high possibility that you start losing on your, uh, you know, multivitamins, your uh, uh, minerals, your micronutrients. Mm -hmm. So supplement them with some multivitamin, which can really keep your immunity up during your fat loss journey. And other than that, there are few things like uh, you know, a few fat mobilizer, not fat burner actually, fat mobilizer like L-carnitine, which I personally prefer or suggest mm -hmm. also is uh, one which converts your stored fat to energy. Mm -hmm. So it is actually now you know and one more thing which i can say ki, uh, when you when suppose you are on a fat loss journey and uh, you it is expected you eating low little bit diet in your workout. okay so people always you know think uh, i can take something which can make me go the workout properly mm -hmm. but that is one thing is your pre-workout but when it comes to pre-workout most of the pre-workouts are with creatine and goes other way when you are going for your usually fat loss and fat loss journey but one good thing is, i mean when i started using oswas pre-workout power up mm. you know it is doesn't have creatine the best mm. part is. so whoever wants to use pre-workout in their fat loss journey i would highly suggest and recommend go and buy it or grab the box try it it is absolutely amazing mm -hmm. it doesn't give you a crash the proper focus proper strength and stamina during your workout also yeah thank you uh so another thing that i want i want to ask is uh there is a, a traditional cardio exercise that people do uh, for fat loss and weight loss okay. but there is something called hiit mm -hmm. high intensity okay. uh, interval training so how do you differentiate from the both and which should you prescribe yeah which should you uh, tell your customers yeah HIT, people to do uh, hit is actually something you know where the uh, good thing about SIT, i can say ki, in very small span of time you can burn a lot of calories mm -hmm. okay the worst is so good that uh, would, would, let's assume that you are on treadmill for 30 minutes and if you are burning mm -hmm. calories then the same amount of calories you can actually burn in 5 to 10 minutes in HIIT. Mm -hmm. But whether it is HIIT or whether it is, is a 
traditional cardio method mm-hmm. if your nutritional plan is not getting supported either of them yeah. then it is like to hid and go and eat whatever you want then obviously you're not going to lose fat even a, even a gram also so everything is driven by your diet plan but both the scenario i would say diet is good but again the issue with hid is you know just imagine a people or a person who is obese mm-hmm. you know who has hypertension and uh, you know they have overweight mm-hmm. not just kg but let's say assume the 20 30 so for them doing all hid like you know always using their body weights they are already adjusted with their own body weight and you are making them jumping this crawling this and all so it will be very painful for them and risky for them too so for those people, people i would say ki one session in a week is more than enough mm-hmm. but people who are already fit and they want to get something more out of it then obviously they can have two to three sessions of hid so i would say if you are going for a fat loss journey then both should be coupled you need the regular phase of uh, steady state cardio along mm-hmm. with hid but it will work when your nutritional plan is intact if your nutritional plan is not intact then nothing can help you yeah nutrition is a key factor in your weight loss journey all correct all correct. yeah uh, so, so uh, in your experience uh, through the coaching and through your mentorship in that uh, in fat loss journey to your customers to clients so what are the common challenges that you face to uh, that they face to achieve a sustainable fat loss and how do you overcome that i i believe always there is there is only one there is your uh, lack of consistency mm-hmm. you know people the amount they put on in years they expect that to get better in just weeks so that is one and they just want the miracles to happen like a midas touch i'll go and touch my client will transform you know just a snap of a finger like thanos will do this then some 10 kg mm-hmm. will it doesn't work like that so for it it always need the consistency whether in case of you know they say ki 70% diet your uh, 30% workout but i would say ki it is always 100% diet 100% workout and your proper hydration your proper sleep so this this is a cumulative effect where if everything goes well which can go well then obviously definitely you're going to see the results very soon but if you are looking for a result like you know assume that 3 months i just want to get rid of 30 kg mm-hmm. you have to think that your life is not 3 months you have to live after 3 mm-hmm. months okay. so what you going to do for 3 months you will put on 15 kg then what will happen you go back to the trainer again boss i have put on this much let me enroll again let me start again so it's keep on business is keep on running mm-hmm. okay so to avoid that you have a sustainability like you know if you are consistent probably you not lose 30 kg in 3 months but whatever you lose that's assume the 2 or 3 kg in a month it will be always you know it will always remain you won't gain back again because mm-hmm. it takes time the longer it is let's say 6 or 8 months you yourself will be disciplined your habits would have been changed so it is like you know you will be able to help somebody else you will be in that state mm-hmm. so obviously you will not go back or you will not have you you yourself will feel okay okay let me not put that weight let me not gain that fatty mm-hmm. okay yeah uh one more question i have to ask is uh when we are on a process of fat loss journey so if we let's say we have a uh, uh, following our routine following our but we have cravings but we get cravings to uh, no uh, to eat some junk to eat some sweet have yeah, to uh, to get some uh, alcohol i guess so so in that run, how can we avoid that cravings to to maintain to follow a follow up our process to follow our journey smoothly see cravings happens because of i believe because of one reason is you know uh your uh, one one is if you are on a crash diet so what happens is your body knows after a certain time 
the body itself is starts demanding for something else because you know you you can't so let's assume that i am giving you to eat fruits for seven days only fruits you will lose weight but what will happen on eight days? you will be fully like sponge so obviously you need something okay. so you say ki, okay go and have just a bite of pizza that bite become uncontrollable it becomes a whole pizza okay. so that things happens and uh, one more thing is you know sometimes even my clients calls me saying that ki, sir i'm going for a party out so can i have a beer so if you're saying you can have a beer that beer won't turn to be a healthy mm. one okay it will be healthy, not be a protein say okay so sometimes it is also mentally like you know you are transforming yourself physically but mentally you have to be strong like okay i have to overcome this that but when your nutritional plan is not intact okay but for my clients sometimes i give them so it is expected to go into so there are very few very good options are there which actually can take care of cravings like you know you can uh, for an example you take a small uh, quantity of yogurt mix little bit of whey protein few dry fruits in it you don't have to blend just stir it in a bowl and have it it's actually healthy and it tastes like dessert when you are on diet it controls your cravings also and when uh, protein is something i would say ki always mm-hmm. takes care of your craving so if you are craving for more then probably or might be your protein intake is still less so consult your trainer or see the program or calculate by yourself probably you need to improve your protein intake right. because uh, we could also increase fiber in our diet so that we yes. can pull yes. and keep it on the full but you know nowadays i would say ki most of the diets are uh, most of the most of the diets they somehow filled with fibers because they will say you always you know you go and eat lot of vegetables yes. boil vegetables you keep on eating boil fruit uh, sorry uh, fruits you keep on eating so that takes care of the fiber right. part but uh, fiber also is something which can take care of your uh, you know craving yeah, yeah but correct, all, correct. you know at the end it is all mental. like mental. you know why you, know, you feel that cravings because somewhere in the mentally you are just looking for it is it is not needed but it is desired by you hmm. oh, nice yes uh so my next question would be uh, is there any misconception uh, regarding this fat loss or weight loss journey that you face and you are your client faced uh, and how do you overcome on that so i am is that yeah so i was asking uh, uh, there is a most uh, miscom mis uh, mis uh, conception regarding okay. uh, fat loss journey so, yeah so uh, something uh, so have you faced that and is there a uh, and how do you overcome that challenge okay so, so uh, i i can give you two to three okay one is mm-hmm. uh, very common is you know when you go for fat loss they say ki you should not eat rice mm-hmm. okay eat rice correct yeah. you should not eat rice because rice will make you fat so let me yeah. tell you something never makes you fat anything you eat it doesn't make you fat but if you over it it makes you fat okay so if you are on uh, a diet plan where you know exactly how much you need or exactly how much your calorie intake is then you are eating rice also it doesn't matter you know whether it is rice or chapati or poha or bread anything it is it is and on the end of the day it is all calculated so it is fine now next yeah. never i know i prescribe some or i write that ki uh, you know you take uh, peanut butter or nut butter and all mm-hmm. they will come back and say no no i want to lose fat don't you think it will, be, it will not be good i i have to take uh, nut butter and all so that's a fat so what fat again fat doesn't make you fat okay those are try to understand those are good fat actually. and those are again calculate in between your calories so so again i am not uh, going to have french fries or chips and all so your body actually need few f- good fat to maintain the functionality mm-hmm. so that is good thing and, uh, you know now uh, i believe uh, nowadays whenever i ask people to 
cooking method start using uh, ghee then that is also a misconception always ki no no ghee or clarified butter ghee so ghee will reduce my cholesterol ghee will make me fat all those things and all so i feel the uh, majority of the thing is if you know how much you are eating and what you are eating then not at all matter actually how does it work so so basically food is not evil it is the over consumption of food that is evil yes yes so so Because my you know what happens people like uh, uh, they say ki uh, i am eating less but i am not losing weight or i am not mm-hmm. losing fat so if you ask them again are you sure they will say yeah i feel so i feel i am eating actually 100 g no feeling and in actual they both are different so to to your weight proper in your scale you should also weigh your food it is a good habit also so in that scenario mm-hmm. how much what you are eating Yeah. So my questions are over now. Uh, so guys, stay tuned for the special gift. Let's uh, get some questions of our viewers. So Kanika Shridhar has asked, uh, "I have PCOD. Can you tell me the diet according to my weight increase by 15 kg since 2018?" Okay. so uh, see the for pcod uh, you know the major thing is uh, it is always difficult it is not easy i would say but again as i said ki if you are consistently following a calorie deficit diet which again i would say ki you probably you know you should be uh, avoiding gluten and uh, avoiding uh, dairy products Uh, like even sometime for pcod clients i would suggest ki they should restrict themselves from whey which is uh, again a by product of uh, dairy because they give they can give you bloating more so one thing is that for pcod and one request to all the pcod people i would say ki stop checking your weight in every day or every 10 days you go and don't mm-hmm. check your weight if what happens for pcod people the weight goes up like sinus vital gap sometimes it is up sometimes it is down sometimes it is up sometimes so when it is up it is good you feel happy but when it is down it takes your stress level so high that you know your hormonal imbalance become more and you start putting on more so the diet wise again i would say everything is same only try to avoid you know gluten and dairy products okay so kritika i hope you got your answer uh, so our next question is from priyanshi she is asking if we reduce weight from 5 kg so it is not fat loss mm-hmm. she is asking question so okay so yeah. she is asking that if she reduce 5 kg of 5 uh, kg of weight so that's not fat loss so how she know because that is not a fat loss i mean i should not ask but the i mean you know that is like if you know what you have lost how to find out probably you know how to find out is is uh, one way is nowadays almost all the gyms will have bca in body machines and all where you can find out exactly the scenario but if you are checking your weight on your scale after uh, few few weeks or months and you found that i have lost 5 kg then it is very difficult from the scale to find out and tell you whether you have actually lost fat or you have lost uh, muscle and water but if you have followed a holistic way of diet plan not as that diet and you have have followed a proper way of recovery then it is absolutely fat loss there is no way that body going to lose muscle and water when your approach is good so your approach is so basically you know rather than weight loss fat loss i would say the approach should be always to muscle up when you okay. go for trying to muscle up yourself then obviously body will try to lose only fat 
ओके ओके प्रियांशी होप यू गाइट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम आई एम राजेश शालवी एंड हिज सेलिंग हिज सेलिंग हाउ वन शुड स्टैक जेड एम ए सेल मास एंड केस इन एज दे एज दीज थ्री आर सपोज टू टेक इन प्री बेड एंड आउट दीज डेज एंड आउट ऑफ थ्री सेल मास जेड एम ए वर्क्स वेल ऑन एम टी स्टमक प्लीज प्रोवाइड गाइडेंस ऑन द सीम सी जेड एम एन केसिन इज समथिंग या इट इज वाई केसिन इज प्री बेड बिकॉज ऑफ द स्लो एब्जॉर्शन एंड जेड एम एब्वियसली helps you to sleep so uh, if if you are uh, taking zma one serving or two serving however serving according to their plan you can take well, along, along with your uh, casein but mm-hmm. i would your casein and between casein your zma at least keep 30 to 40 minutes of gap so i would not i would never say you just gulp the casein and go to bed after that taking a zma probably if your bed time is 10 o'clock you have the casein around 8 o'clock or 8:30 or something like that then before bed 30 minutes of difference you can take your zma sir okay uh, okay salvi uh, rajesh salvi hope you got your answer uh, the next question is from sapna rawat uh, she is asking how to reduce belly fat without exercise without exercise without exercise okay yeah you can do do that but i would not recommend i would not suggest so uh, what it means like exercise means uh, is it like no gymming if it is no gymming then i can say ki you can pick up any kind of physical activity and if you are not if you don't want to do any physical activity then probably you can go for a calorie deficit diet and like most of the nutrition is you know nowadays to you don't do anything just keep 10000 steps per day that can help okay mm-hmm. but i always recommend ki you know keep some physical activity you may not have to do lift weights or uh, go and run on to a gym but probably you start walking which is actually good because uh, it is not always about losing fat it is always also regarding improve your muscle quality okay so she has a follow up question uh, she is saying that which supplement to take for fat loss okay i believe we have uh, covered that let me tell that again yeah. probably whey protein is one thing i would always say or recommend then uh, multivitamin also i would always recommend then one fat mobilizer which is l carnitine don't scared about l carnitine there is no side effects at all you know if you if you want to calculate see uh, every l carnitine will have a serving size of 3 g so every but we are supposed to if your body weight is uh, let's say 100 kg so every 10 kg 1 g is perfectly fine so we are 10 kg is allowed so sorry 10 g is allowed so but we have 3 g in the serving which is pretty good and uh, you can take it uh, early morning and to summer which will actually help you to uh, boost up your fat mobilization during your cardio or doing so or before your walking and the next could be as i said ki if you are okay if you are a lifter if you are going for strength training then probably you can try pre workout by oso which doesn't have creatine so there is no chance of it giving you a bloating or heavy feeling sensation okay so I, i guess we got all the questions from our viewers so let's wrap this uh thank you gautam thank you thank you for this wonderful session uh, thank you very much. i hope it was a good session people yeah. uh, yeah. i am very much yeah thank you yeah, same you uh thank you everyone for this uh, for who have joined this live session uh so the special discount is split 10 Uh, you can get uh, you can just type fit in caps and get uh, 10 per- additional percent off thank you thank you guys